Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm here, I'm Jack. You probably remember it. It's two months ago last when we One uh, two I months ago. video. Chris so, Duvall. Yeah, Chris Chris Duvall. Duvall. Today Duvall. we're gonna be talking about Isaiah's whether that is the right way or wrong way to pronounce it. It is kind of difficult to say. We don't have a lot of time though because we are out of, almost out of storage and we don't have Also to have my video. internet sucks and I don't want to make the video too long. Alright, here we we're go. We're gonna have we're gonna have a part two where we talk where we're gonna show the locations impacted on the weather channel their and forecast. Our, and the and third one we're gonna show maps we're gonna make. We might even do more. We'll see. Yeah, we have to see. Alright, so we're gonna show the trap for Three, two, one, go. go. Just so, um, I'm gonna go first. So, her, her oh, guys, before, oh, guys, okay. but everybody watching, before you're wondering, I did, he, his iPad is controlling it. When I swiped the screen, I actually wasn't controlling it. I'm just, I, I just wanted to do that for, I don't know, I did. Pretty much, my iPad doesn't control it. It's just for a little effect or something, but I just want to let you know he's controlling it on me. All right. So I don't want you to say that, that I'm controlling it not. Or anyway. from basically, well, kind of, it's hard to say, obviously, but, I would say Myrtle Beach, um, North Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, Leland. Yeah, he knows the areas. He he has grandparents there, so and some of my cousins live there. So and then tropical rains all up the coast, um, until so, so until parts of Savannah all the way up to Maine, New parts Maine. of New Hampshire, and the whole state of Maine is in a tropical storm watch. So what well, the eastern seaboard on the coastal side? No, I like Well, I think the whole state of Maine is in the tropical storm watch. I'm pretty sure the whole state. Anyway, so it becomes a hurricane, and well, um, they so and right Myrtle, before landfall is possible. Myrtle Beach North, seventy Myrtle Beach, mile away. Myrtle Beach North, Myrtle Beach it's Leland, down there somewhere. and Leland and Wilmington, Wilmington maybe ha could have hurricane force winds. And then we have it comes tropical storm all the way up to Pennsylvania. Everybody, right, north of the top. No, the column contains a probability. The probability count of the storm center is not to the size of the storm. Yeah, only the size of the conditions can get occur outside outside of yeah, the Yeah, so what I said what I've learned, I don't know if it's completely true, but I'm pretty sure only sixty seven percent of the storm stays in the cone. So maybe, maybe of, not. A lot of like this is a tiny cone as you can see. Um but so it, it's, it's not I say effect outside the cone. Of, no, there can still be big effects outside of them. Like Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, Leland, Wilmington will get affected a lot here. Parts of Virginia. Like Philadelphia is one of the places in uh, Pennsylvania that will get affected a I lot. I mean, Albany is going to get affected. They're not even in the cone. Like, this is the thing. All the way in New York, this is the thing. Well, I wasn't in the cone for, well, no, actually. I, I think it was always in the cone until like, Michael passed me. I think it was always yeah. in the cone for Michael until it passed me. I don't know for sure. Anyway. Okay, okay, and then it goes up to a depression once it's leaving. It's going all the, all the way to Canada. Canada. So this is a small thing. Okay, let's just turn it. Yeah, see? Yeah, my, I wasn't it's even touching. It's a rainfall outlook. Yeah, wait, before. Yeah, guys, so what I'm saying, um, I'm not controlling this. Like I said earlier, I don't want you to think that I'm controlling it with this because I'm not. Anyway. Because right, he's so, controlling it. Anyway. As you can see it here, it's not that bad third thing. Because here's the thing. This is, we'll show on the second video. This is a one-day flyby system in, in some areas. Like, one to two day. Yeah, one day, one to two day system. Seven, 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 well, seven, well, well, this whole area is one to two days, well, probably one to two days, maybe longer. Well, like, look, some areas will only get affected for a couple hours up to a day. Everybody, you can see at the top, top, top of our screen, Oh, day one through Tuesday morning, it's they're all gonna be affected. The next day, none of this area is gonna be affected, and then by Thursday, all in this area. So it, it moves pretty fast. Luckily, that's so guys, moderate water. risk. Charleston, Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, Leland, Wilmington. Well, Mick, Mick, I think Wilmington, Philadelphia, and like a lot of other places. So you would have got the water system, but here's the next. Oh, uh, you want, go yeah, okay. slight risk of all the way up the fourth of Maine. And then we got the margin of our let's go. This is the wind extent um, sustained of um, This is the most li hour. most likely. Or around 30 miles, nine miles per hour or more. And then top, and then as you can see, this is the 11 a.m. update. I say, I say at least um, the second yellow, which is yellow orange. You see the 30 to 40 percent yellow, then we have the 40 to 50 percent yellow. I say the 40 to 50 percent yellow slash oranges because like in the national hurricane center you get a medium chance um, i say a I medium mean, chance is opposite I'm, and the national hurricane center a 40 percent chance starts as a medium so yeah i say this yellowish 40 to 50 percent chance 
um, is where you start getting good chances for tropical storms. And the people in New York City, they need to watch out because there, you know when people are and then and then COVID nineteen. Okay. So we gotta watch out. So. Yeah. So we have a purple like uh, Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, and Wilmington. Then we got lots of reds up to New Jersey. We have these. So we have a um. We have like like a, a, like. Bye. Well, we have a. 50 to 60 percent chance, 50 to 70 percent chances, and at lowest 40 to 50 percent chance. And like in Philadelphia, we have like a 50 to 60, and maybe 60 to 70 percent chance. Then we have the 40 to 50 percent chances, and then like. So, I'm ready for next. So time. yes. So, oh, Philadelphia. If you're wondering, you're in a, either a 50 to 60 to 60 to 70 percent chance, and then Myrtle Beach, Wilmington. Okay, everybody for storms. Everybody wait, wait. Oh, one second. Right, right. Wilmington, Wilmington, Wayland, North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach. You are in the purple. All right. I know you probably can't see this, but um, not that well. But no, yeah. three to five Perfect. feet from um South Sandy River to Cape. That Cape. is life threatening. And yes. here's the problem. Like Jeff told me, this is gonna be in. So not only is it it's gonna be high tide, like full moon, the full moon, this high tide, full moon, highest storm surges expected of this whole system, and up to fifteen feet waves. Well, sure, my mind show you, I might be able to get that is that really light. Right. I might be able to get. Um, He's like the storm surge specialist, so I'll let him. I might, I might be able to get that. Up. I might be able to show you all that later on um, how how high the waves are on Noah. But like I said, south the South Sandy River, um, two to four feet. To Cape Fear, three to five feet. So from Cape Fear to South Cape Fear, really, I, I think I'm from Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach is in that area, and I believe, like Sebastian said, probably Wilmington, Wilmington. I mean, so this is life threatening, like Sebastian said. Okay, now go to the next it. picture. Oh, okay. Is it me? Right off. Right the last picture. So, so, so we have. So I say like the the bad rain starts at two to four inches, but the worst of course is four to six inches with yellow, six to ten inches, which is orange, and if you're like the one to two inches, and not really less, not really flooding, but possibly yeah. so possibly flooding. So I mean this is this is uh, North Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, not trying to focus on that area, I'm just saying. This it, that's just because we're getting direct hit like, direct hit, like the Madison said. Um so that's that's in the orange, that's um, um, a lot of rainfall in, in a few hours can cause tremendous flooding, and then which is life threatening. And then up there, I can't reach it. Um, that that works. That's an area we gotta watch too. Um, okay. So yeah. So yeah. So I wanna. Okay. So North Myrtle Beach and Philadelphia are two cities that will probably get hit hard. So those both cities. They're both in like a yellow. They both not will want. Um, North Myrtle Beach is like three to five feet storm surge, and uh, Philadelphia, one to three feet storm surge. Philadelphia is like 50 to 60% chance tropical storm winds, um, or 60 to 70% chance, while North Myrtle Beach is 90 to 100% chance. And yeah, that's really it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you smash that like button, we'll see you in part two. And See you in part two, bye.